All right, guys. It is just another average hot summer day in mid-April here on Friday afternoon at 5 o'clock uh, on uh, April 19, 2024. So we're just going to uh, take a, a another ride across Florida. Uh, Jesus, we are in the shithole of Lacanto, Florida, where uh, I guess we're we got a new road widening project. Uh, all right, road work ahead. Never seen that sign in the state of Florida in my life. Road work ahead. Let's see what this is gonna look like. Oh Jesus! So I have uh, so far. I have spent the last two and a half hours and thirty dollars in two and a half hours and I don't know how many miles of driving and now I'm dealing with this because I got a little piece of grass in my smartphone uh, charging port. This is the, I think, the fourth time uh, when I got there to the shop, uh, the guy and I were starting to laugh because I was in there two years ago. Uh, same phone, same problem, same guy doing it. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. So this is the main difference in uh, the past two years look at this planet eating shit oh god humans so uh anywho oh yeah it is friday uh i get to uh get home uh after a well-deserved margarita time for my ain't gonna happen roundup ramp but i i you know i, I i've just got to do one more I guess final PS to these rants for the past couple of days both of when I have been talking about in, in both of these rants of, uh, about these clueless fucking morons uh, you, you know whenever uh, you point anyone who points out that humans are the problem on the planet uh, and uh, the only solution is for humans to go uh, by not breeding and hopefully getting sterilized. So you point all of this shit out to them and you hear the fucking ignorant ass comment if you're such a big fan of humans going extinct, why don't you set an example? To the rest of humanity and kill yourself and, and, and uh, you know good fucking God so when I did the rant the the first rant talking about these uh, I put that on and then I wrote my uh, essay for medium.com while I'm why I'm proud to be an eco Nazi which last time I checked had five views and three people had actually read it uh, so here what we got going on in, uh, in, in beautiful Lakanto so I think it was two years ago they opened the new Walmart in uh, Lakanto Florida I, I'm just as glad to get this uh, red light so, what, what you got to understand is that we have pretty much a new Walmart uh, on the southwest corner of this intersection. And now, what we're getting ready to get on the northeast, so right directly across from the uh, from the uh, new Walmart is we get the new Target 
going in. So, uh, you know how they do those Walgreens and CVS pharmacies? You know, one will be on one corner and one will be on the other. Now what you can look forward to is a, uh, a Walmart moving into one corner and then a Target moving in right directly across the street. And then, of course, on the other two corners, we've had this Circle K Mini Mart for I don't know how many years, and now they have opened up across the street from it one of these Wawa's. A Wawa is like the Florida version of Bucky's. It's not quite to the uh, degree of Bucky's. So now what we have is Walmart, Target, Circle K, and Wawa, uh, where probably 10 years ago th th this was all farmland. Uh, so this right here is a crystal clear example of why I am proud to be an eco-Nazi. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, so anyway, where the hell was I before I got uh, sidetracked by chronicling the collapse of Citrus County? But you wonder why uh, I am a real estate investor in Citrus County, Florida, and you just saw the reason why. <sighs> but where, what, what the hell is, oh yeah. So anyway, the, 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 these clueless morons coming back with, 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 with this uh, goddamn statement uh, about why you don't kill yourself. You're a non-breeder uh, who got sterilized before they ever had a kid to set an example for humanity of how to save the planet and then when the clueless fucking moron hears all of this he says why don't you set an example to the rest of the planet by killing yourself but but anyway so I between the rants uh, some fellow I, I'm, I'm not going to embarrass this man uh, leaves a comment between the two rants. This, this is a, a, a clearly intelligent doomer who is in no way a clueless fucking moron. Well, he does have two kids, but other than that slight transgression, you know, the guy's not a clueless moron. And what does he say? The, uh, the but basically the same comment. Well, well Sam, uh, it's uh, it, it's it's true, uh, it, it, you know it, it's true that uh, every time that that if a person kills themselves, since every human being on the planet uh, is damaging the planet by being alive on the planet, which is a true statement. Uh, then, then you can't uh, argue that uh, killing one person on a planet of 8 billion people uh, makes it a better planet uh, for all the rest of our earthlings or somewhat like that. And, it, it, and, and I was just so shocked that uh, this fellow, but anyway, I, I am glad to see that... Uh, <clears throat> He has rescinded his comment uh, after looking at the absolute level of ignorance and lack of discernment and critical thinking. So the, the, the comparison that I came up with a couple of nights ago and used in my essay in, in the PS was someone that fucking ignorant to think that uh, one, one sterilized non-breeder taking himself out on a planet of 8 billion people uh, is going to do a, is going to do a fucking thing to, to save this planet. 
uh, is like, you know, going to the barber to get a haircut and telling the barber to cut one hair. That's what it would be. It would be like going to the barber shop for a haircut and getting one, getting one hair cut out of your head. Uh, it is how much difference it would make uh, for you know the, what these clueless morons uh, are, are talking about. But I was thinking about it, so uh, I started thinking. Well, maybe a better analogy to these clueless fucking morons is an infestation of termites. All right, termites are a huge problem down here uh, in, in, in Florida, you, you know, uh, termites, well, planet eaters, earth eaters. Uh, so, okay, so you, let's say you have a 2,000 square foot wood frame house in Florida, which I know you're not going to have because every house in Florida now is built of concrete block because termites don't eat concrete block. But just for the sake of argument, you, you, you buy one of these old style cracker houses uh, built of wood and uh, you, you find out like any old wood frame house in Florida uh, that you are infested with termites. So you, let's say you have a 2,000 square foot old wood frame house. That is the planet. Okay, you have an infestation of termites. You have eight billion termites. Eight billion termites chewing through a 2,000 square foot house. I would have to get out, uh, you know, the, the calculator to figure out how much damage each of the eight billion termites is causing to your house and you also have to add to that equation that every single day every single day uh, 365 days a year about 240,000 new termites are being uh, born into the termite infestation in your old every four days. So, so about once a month, uh, and I know, oh yeah, you, you got to put the, you got to put an asterisk by that birth rate that this is the lowest birth rate of termites in your house in the last 50 years that the birth rate has been dropping for the last 50 years. So now you're on a planet of 8 billion people. So the lowest birth rate of termites in 50 years means that 240,000 new termites are being added to the 8 billion termites every day of the year, 365 days a year. Another way of looking at this is that uh, every month a New York City's worth of termites are being added uh, to your, you know, to your old wood frame house, which of course from the termites perspective is the planet. Uh, so you got 8 billion today, you will have 8 billion 240,000 tomorrow, you'll have 8 billion 1 million termites uh, in 5 days, you, 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 you get it. And so you call the termite uh, exterminator and uh, he comes out there and pulls a board off, pulls a piece of siding off, and sees eight billion termites eating your house. And he looks at it, and, and he looks at you and says, uh, uh, okay, which termite do you want me to kill? And that, uh, 
that is the level of, uh, of ignorance, lack of discernment, and critical thinking uh, that these clueless fucking morons with that why don't you set an example and kill you uh, you, you know, that, that is the level of stupidity that you're talking about. So if you brought an exterminator uh, out, out to your house with 8 billion termites and counting, chewing up your house, the exterminator comes out uh, and says, okay, which one of these termites do you want me to kill to save your house from the termites. You would fire the motherfucker for being a clueless fucking moron. I think you would say, I want you to kill every one of these fucking eight billion termites. I want a death rate of 100% of these termites to save my house. Uh, I, I just, uh, I, I was, I was absolutely appalled, uh, that this man, uh, of all, uh, of all the people I know, uh, was still buying into that. Uh, that's what, uh, one, uh, 64-year-old non-breeding eco-Nazi uh, who set an example to this planet uh, 50 years ago how not uh, to, to, you know, how not to keep fucking up the planet is to stop breeding. And, 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 and even that guy. So yeah, so for me to kill myself uh, would make as much difference to what is going on in this planet as an exterminator coming out to your house being infested by eight billion fucking termites and, and killing one termite and uh, handing you a bill uh, for $5,000 for a job well done. Okay? And uh, pull your fucking head out of your ass uh, about that and, and all of this fucking bullshit uh, about these falling birth rates uh, and, and, and shit like that. And, uh, all right, we got a fox squirrel. Get the fuck out of here. Good God, if Sancho had seen that, I... This is the first day that I haven't been able to bring Sancho uh, in the car with me because uh, I started out uh, four and a half hours ago to run about 30 minutes of errands uh, and then ran into this uh, cell phone uh, port garbage uh, and that is where my day is gone but uh I am heading back doomsday trailer for a well-deserved sunset margarita over the end times and then we will uh come up with our ain't gonna happen uh, with, with our ain't gonna happen, uh, roundup. So I, uh, one, one of the questions I got today, one, one of the comments on my rant yesterday, uh, was, well, did, did either Elliot Jacobson or I, uh, ever mention not breeding, uh, is something that ain't gonna happen? Uh, and my first answer to him was, well, I would have to go back and review it, but I'm sure I said that. And then, then I said, no, because on second thought, because what these, the ain't gonna happen roundup rant that, uh, you know, started with me and Elliot on January 1st and that I do every Friday since then, what the ain't gonna happen roundup rant is 
is, uh, you know, talking about these unadulterated horseshit uh, ain't gonna happen solutions to uh, to save the planet. Uh, and th th this this absolute fucking uh, techno utopian uh, hopium peddling uh, that that's not going to do one fucking thing to save this planet. And and, and so what the ain't going to happen uh, rant is is a reaction to when people suggest the solution of whatever, changing your light bulbs or, you know, whatever the fuck. Uh, take, take your pick uh, uh, of this fucking bullshit uh, that ain't going to happen to save the planet. But somebody, in, in order to make it into an ain't going to happen roundup, someone has to make the suggestion. And as I pointed out to, uh, I think it was Irk One today, uh, my guess is I never have had uh, a, a humans are going to stop breeding, ain't going to happen. Uh, Roundup ramp for the simple reason nobody, nobody is suggesting that humans are, are, uh, should stop breeding to save the planet. Uh, you can go on and on and on. Uh, I have read, uh, good Lord, uh, easily since January 1st, uh, a, a thousand uh, ain't going to happen uh, solutions to save this planet. And as far as I know, I have never once in my entire life seen the, uh, the suggestion that maybe humans want to consider not breeding to save the planet. But nobody is offering that up as a solution, which of course is just one more reason, of course, that it ain't gonna happen. So obviously it ain't gonna happen. Well, it is gonna happen as I, uh, as I, I mean, it, it is gonna happen that humans are going to stop breeding when uh, humans are extinct, but you better believe if it gets down to a population of two uh, on this planet, if there is uh, one pecker and one pussy left on this planet, uh, that they will get together and go right on breeding like they're fucking Adam and Eve. Uh, the, the last two people on this planet, assuming uh, that they're male and female, uh, are, are going to be doing everything they can to breed. They are not uh, going to come up uh, with the suggestion, maybe it's time to throw in the towel on the species. Oh, God. But, uh, it is a fine time to be a, a real estate investor as we uh, enter the, uh, the shoulder blades of the bottleneck. Welcome to the bottleneck. Get out there and enjoy your bottleneck while you still can. I'm going to go and enjoy the bottleneck, the bottle of tequila here in a few minutes. And uh, I will see you later with the Ain't Gonna Happen Roundup Rant. Bye, guys.